In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria use coordinates in 2D, positive and negative to specify the positions of points. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under level 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Jody works in a knitting shop. The shop sells knitting charts like the one below. Knitting is made from rows of stitches. The symbols in the chart tell knitters what type of stitch to use. The chart is a coordinate grid. Tick the symbol which is in stitch 5, row 13. So stitch 5, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, row 13. So that's the row, 13 is here. So across, where do they meet? That's this one here. It's a backward slash, which is this one. Here is a different knitting chart. This chart tells knitters what colour all to use for each stitch in the pattern. Georgia changes the chart. She adds four more blue stitches to give the pattern four lines of symmetry. Write down the coordinates of the four blue stitches Jotty adds. So we'll give the pattern four lines of symmetry. So one would be here, one here, and then diagonally two of them. Wherever we've got the line of symmetry, both sides need to look as if they're mirrored. So I can see that I've got this square here, but I haven't got it here. So that's missing. And it's missing here as well. And it's missing here and here. So it's four of them. What are the coordinates of these? Let's start with this one. This one has coordinates stitch 13 and row 1. And we have this one, stitch three, row one. This one has coordinates stitch thirteen, row fifteen. And the last one has Stitch 3, row 15. Plot the point minus 3, 2 on the grid. Minus 3 or negative 3, that's the x coordinates. So we're looking horizontally. It's just like entering the house. So where is minus 3? That's this one here. And then it says 2. So we're going up 2 squares, 2 units. So 1, 2. So that's the point. Negative 3, 2. I'll get rid of... This other point I made here, just to avoid confusion. We now move into the calculator questions. Alice attends a workshop about home security. The tutor tells the group about a house burglary. The police found a footprint in the garden. They used a coordinate grid to record where it was. 
what are the coordinates of the point marked by x? This is the point. Looking at the x coordinate first, so horizontally. So we're going to go down, and that's minus 3, comma, 4. So minus 3, 4. The coordinate grid shows the floor plan of the kitchen. Point A shows the position of the gas valve. Write down the coordinates of point A. So we'll start with the x-axis. There is the point, so going down, that's 13, comma, 2. Which point is at 3, 4? So, again, starting with the x-axis, so we're going to go to 3, So that is point B. Which point is at three, four? So three is here, going up. That is point B. This seems to be a repetition of the previous question. What are the coordinates of the pentagon on the grid below? So where is the pentagon? That's the shape here. It has five sides, five corners. So coordinates minus 5, minus 3. So always starting with the x axis. Putting them into brackets. On the grid, mark the point 4, 2. So 4 is the x coordinate. So there is 4. So we're going to go up to 2. So that's the point there. I'm going to remove these lines. Write down the coordinates of the point marked with x of a cross. So that's the point here, starting with the x axis. That's 3 first, then we have minus 2 or negative 2. And that's the end of the questions.